Hey guys, so today I want to take a look here at uh, Get My Galaxy Note 2 here, uh, which is having Android, of course, uh, versus iOS 7 Beta 2 on my iPhone 5 here. So this will be a little bit interesting, I think, uh, to compare these two phones. Uh, Apple finally is updating their operating system with iOS 7. Uh, and I've been going over the, the first beta, uh, but there are some new additions in the beta too uh, that you might be curious in uh, if you do like trying new things out. So the first thing is that voice memo is back. Uh, the first thing, is, and then that's also uh, how you can see that I am having iOS 7. You can also see it some other ways, like this new icon in the control center. Uh, so, the first thing I want to do here is I want to check out what we are running here and also if you want to see separate videos please let me know about that and I'll see what I can do uh, where I go with separate apps uh, with these two phones. So you can see here that I'm having Android uh, 4.1.2 uh, on the bad boy Galaxy Note 2. This is a 4G edition also of the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, let's tap on software updates and see. There we go, we, we have the latest updates and all, so that, that's very good. So, voice memo is back with the new iOS 7, as I said. Uh, so, you can also you now record voice stuff. Uh, of course, there's probably third party apps also that can do that for you if you are interested in that. Not quite sure if we have an app like that. We should probably have an app like that on the Galaxy Note 2. So, uh, let's see here music player. Blah, 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 blah. Nope, I don't see it over here. Uh, voice search. Maybe you can see it, but this phone is super huge, has super many features, so hard to go over uh, all of the features in just one single video. Uh, but of course with Android, I mean, there's so many different kinds of apps that, that can record uh, your voice if you need to have an app like that. Um, iOS 7 uh, Beta 2 still has uh, this uh, app layout. You still can't have widgets, of course. Uh, Apple doesn't like widgets, uh, or I'm not sure if they don't like widgets, but uh, definitely more dynamic here uh, with Android here. You can see here I have a music player, uh, and of course I can just download a ton of more apps. And also some of the cool things with some apps is that I can make them bigger. So let's see here I would play music. I have a lot of songs and I want to display them all. I can just make this uh, make this um, widget bigger uh, and then also we do have some nice uh, widgets here also you can see this very very nice widget up here at the top which is display displaying uh, the current uh, weather where I'm located so very very nice a uh, cool search widget also uh, that, that could be quite useful I use them all the time when I want to search for stuffs uh, you can also see my wallpaper there in the background if you just want to see your app of course just go over here and there we go there we have that section and they also uh, in terms of voice search that's one of the new additions of course uh, that Siri now has new male and female voices so Siri Apple's voice assistant what is 2 plus 2 You can see that I had a male voice. Uh, if I want to do some voice search, of course, with my, uh, there are two ways, or probably maybe even more ways I can do it on my Samsung device. So I can use S voice, which is Samsung's response to Siri. What is two plus two? I don't know if I can answer that properly. I can't do an internet search for two plus two. Oh my god, it didn't even know what is 2 plus 2. So you can see it's kind of like a cheap variant of Siri. Um, it, most of the times it will work, it can set up alarms for you and stuff. Uh, but most of the times it will be a little bit slower. Uh, it won't probably most of the times not be as good as finding information. But it, it should have war from off integration. I'm pretty sure I've seen it uh, with the S voice. So let's try this one more time. What is 2 plus 2? What is 2 plus 2? Four. There we go. Okay, so 
Uh, there we got the result. Uh, but if we do compare these two results here, we got just four there. Here we got a bunch of information here if you would like to check out more. Here you have the tab on the more button and then you will see kind of the same information here. Uh, but overall feels like a cheap variant, but let's try to set an alarm here uh, on both these two devices. So uh, that's something that I usually use uh, when I wanna do some set an alarm. Set alarm at 5 p.m. Okay, your 5 p.m. alarm is on. There we go. That's difficult to answer. Let me search the internet for you. So you can see here that it should have worked uh, with the S uh, with S voice if I wouldn't have if if my S voice wouldn't have heard Siri in the background. Uh, it's a little bit slower there in the back, uh, and uh, when you run them at the same time, you will clearly see the Siri Apple's voice assistant is way faster. But let's try it one more time. You have to let it work a little bit on it and be quiet a little bit. Set alarm at five p.m. Saving the 1700 alarm. There we go. You can see that it definitely works okay. if you have a little bit of a patience. Uh, but here's also one thing you, you can't like disable it immediately. You can't even open up the app. Well, with Apple here, I can quickly disable it and I can also click on it to open up the app. So definite series way more useful there. Uh, if you want to do some uh, voice stuffs, uh, uh, with uh, with your note device also of course you can just tap on this little icon here uh, to get to a fire up Google now so let's uh, let's try that out and of course Google now is Google's new voice assistant what is two plus two the answer is four and that one definitely Google now is definitely quicker than s voice and it will kind of do the same thing is the uh, s voice and stuff Set alarm at 5 p.m. Setting alarm. And here you can also quickly disable it. Uh, so definitely pretty cool there uh, that you have multiple ways you can do that. You can also like hold down use the menu key uh, to fire up uh, that feature. So that definitely is a little bit awesome. Uh, I should also tell you that, uh, that in terms of multitasking, of course, it will probably be a little bit easier here on the note. Uh, you can just hold down the back bu button to open up a separate app here so you can have two apps running at the same time next to each other. The bad thing though is that this doesn't support all of the apps but it does support the stock browser plus the maybe Gmail if you want to check mail at the same time if you do use Gmail. Uh, which definitely is pretty useful over there. What I definitely do enjoy here, uh, let's check out the multitasking. Uh, just hold in there and just double tap over here. You can see that they kind of share the same UI here. It's a little bit different here. You swipe here, you go up and down and you just swipe to remove anything or stuff. Uh, you can also just hit one tap here to remove uh, every single open app, which I have definitely used a ton. Uh, where on the Apple device I have to go manually and uh, swipe to remove things Which is a little bit more work there definitely do hope that Apple uh, Fix that little feature and something I definitely do enjoy uh, With iOS 7 beta 2 or yes, <laughs> iOS 7 in general is that finally Apple is uh, Bringing up something called control center. So when you swipe from the bottom, let's see There we go, okay, that maybe was a glitch or something. Uh, when you swipe from the bottom of your phone, uh, you will get finally some toggles here. Some toggles that you do get, of course, with the Samsung device, Samsung's pretty famous for having a lot of toggles here when you quickly want to enable or disable something. Or And definitely in the new Android update, Android 4.2, when that's gonna come for the Note 2, we're probably gonna see a ton of more toggles here. Uh, but you now have at least uh, five toggles here inside of the iPhone, uh, so we can quickly enable and disable stuff like Wi-Fi. And definitely I do enjoy this brightness slider that they also do have one of those. So you don't have to go into full settings to uh, enable that, uh, which is definitely very, 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 very useful. Uh, and also I do, do think that in terms of UI, uh, Samsung definitely has something to work on here to make it a little bit more cool here. It looks a little bit old here, especially when you go into settings. You just look at those buttons. Uh, definitely feels like they can learn something from maybe uh, Sony. 
uh, HTC also uh, and also when we go into here you can definitely see it looks a little bit more uh, polished here uh, on the iPhone 5 definitely of course you can install custom firmwares on the Note 2 and there's some pretty cool ones if you definitely want to change the UI of the device and of course we shouldn't forget that you do get the S Pen uh, with the Note 2 uh, and the S Pen is something that I definitely do enjoy and the, 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 why I enjoy it so much is that most of the times I will take a screenshot or something so I will take a screenshot like this there we go uh, and now what I can do is if I want to edit something out I can just blur it out like that I can change colors here also. People do actually enjoy when you're playing with their faces and stuff. And then if I want to remove something that I did, I can just do that. Uh, I like the creative aspect of it and sending pictures uh, to people, having fun with this. And of course, there's a ton of other things you can do with the S Pen. You can sign stuff, uh, especially when you need to sign or use anything. Uh, it's definitely pretty cool. And I also think it's pretty cool to show off to people. But uh, there's so many... Uh, useful things you can do with the S Pen uh, and especially when you have a big phone uh, I definitely do believe that it's a little cool addition here uh, and it's actually not a gimmick for me uh, uh, because I use it actually sometimes and it, it really just feels easier uh, when I want to blur something out to do it with the pen and, and, and quickly edit it out and the, the pen really has been getting improved uh, since since the first generation note uh, which is definitely something that I do enjoy a ton. Um, and I, as I said, I also might do separate videos uh, going over separate features, uh, browser and, and stuff, because the browser in iOS 7 definitely has been improved a lot. And also some new additions, of course, is that you now have iCloud with like Find My iPhone. Uh, you can also do things like photo stream, upload screenshots, you should be able to do that. Uh, and then also that it's more transparent and in general it should be a little bit more snappy of course it's snappy on both these two devices when you have some storage still available uh, we can also go quickly check out some wallpapers so let's go to the home screen let's go to live wallpapers because this is pretty interesting uh, when we go to wallpapers here, you do get two live wallpapers here with the iPhone, uh, which is two like bubble wallpapers, which is pretty interesting because that was the same thing that you kind of do get inside of the Samsung device like face beam uh, and bubbles and deep sea here. So a lot of bubble effects there. And I might be taking a look at more cool live wallpapers, wallpapers in another video, but that was something that they think that we started to see in the first uh, Nexus, Galaxy Nexus from last year. That was a Samsung made device, uh, or actually the year before that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and that was, that was back in the old uh, days. But um, if you want to see any specific videos, specific maybe reading or something compared to the display, gaming uh, with these two phones, Please let me know about that. I, I will see what I can do, and I, like, I appreciate all of the support and everything. It, it really do helps out and uh, stops maybe camera updates and things. Uh, we'll see what I can uh, come up with. So until next time, have a great day. Peace.